Well, let's move on to our next corporate then. Hindustan Singh, that's the company on our radar. The company's numbers for the second quarter came in line with estimates. Now, LME prices were weak, but the cost of production has seen a sharper fall. Mr. Arun Mishra, the chief executive officer at Hindustan Singh, joins us to discuss the past quarter's performance and the way ahead as well. Hi, Mr. Mishra. Good morning, and uh, thanks so much for joining in. Well, given the global demand and supply dynamics, what's the outlook on zinc prices? Because they have been rather weak in the past quarter or so. So currently it's about 2400 and as I look at the future for next maybe another five to six months, it will be range bound between 2400 to 2600. Although personally I would like to see a number of 2800 on the board, but looks like in all probability and the slowness of European and American economy, lack of recovery in China, all that will have its effect and it will still be remaining within around 24 to 26 should be the range it will play. So when do you get to the annual run rate of 1.2 million tons? So, you know, although we would like to hit that 1.2 million ton run rate as fast as possible, however, we invested mostly in the mines to ensure that mines are able to produce more than 1 million ton metal in concentrate consecutively. We have proven that for last two years. Now the smelters are turning out to be bottleneck. All said and done, we are not able to cross 1.04 or 1.05 million ton kind of a number. So we are investing in a roaster. Next year, the roaster will come in line. Then the smelters would cross 1.12 or 1.13 million tons. We are launching few debottlenecking projects this year and very soon, maybe by next board meeting, we'll announce them. Those debottlenecking projects when come into place by next year end, which is 2024 or December, then 2025 will be the year when we will try 1.2 million ton metal will be feasible. Well, Mr. Mishra, talking about silver, since that Fumer plant has finally got commissioned, what are the odds that you hit the upper end of the silver guidance? Could you get closer to around 750 uh, million tons? Or, uh, you know, also the Fumer plant uh, has now got commissioned. So that's the reason I'm asking, asking you. No, so we are already at 360 tons in H1. And so H2s are normally always better. So surely we'll be crossing 725 uh, or 730 tons uh, with the Fumer commission. Uh, not exactly at the upper end because Fumer has just been commissioned. It will be operating only for six months. And it is likely to give three tons of silver every month. So that comes to about 18 tons additional over an hour. Part of it was already taken in the business plan. But in my calculation, we should be crossing anywhere between 725 to 735 tons of silver this year. Okay. All right. Uh, well, you know, the coal sourcing has improved for you. So what's the current sourcing mix like? What is the desired mix and how much are you getting at the moment? No, so we had the difficulty of coal sourcing uh, last year. But however, this year we are about 45% domestic coal we have got. Remember last year I was saying that we need 30% but we are getting 6 to 7% domestic coal only. And uh, we were having huge amount of imported coal. But this year, we are fortunate in quarter two, we got about 45, 45% of the domestic coal. And uh, this domestic coal comes at a lower cost, and uh, that has helped us a lot. Uh, we have got the overall coal cost down, and our, our power cost was down, uh, which was about 11 rupees or so last year, has, has come down drastically. Uh, that, is, that has helped us to reduce our cost of production in a big way. And I'm sure with the way Coal India is performing, uh, this will continue and our FSAs are already in place. We have got huge amount of backlog. So there is no dearth of, as far as order on Coal India is concerned, there is no lack of order. It's only the supply. But it's not only the story of domestic coal being available. We, we used last year H2 and this year's H1 of modifying our power plants in Chandiria so that they are capable of digesting more and more domestic coal of high gas. We did modifications in their ESPs. And so they are well earlier they were operating at about 70% imported coal. So they are now able to operate at 100% domestic coal of a very high ash of 40 to 45% ash. So those modifications have helped us to digest more and more uh, poor quality domestic coal and produce the same power. Okay, so will the cost of production fall further from here on, you think? Yes, oh yes, oh yes. Our cost of production in the second half will be even lower than H2, cost will be lower than H1. So we will be in the cost guidance as well. Uh, if, if nothing undue, you know, suddenly no disruption should happen. Otherwise, the way we are going in the cost reduction efforts, we will be achieving even lower cost in H2. 
All right, Mr. Mishra, you've given us a fair analysis about how the operation of the company is shaping up. But let's talk about other aspects then. Any fresh proposal to buy international zinc? That's in the sun zinc, buying international zinc. Also, what's the possibility of trying to redo this deal at a lower price? Is that an option? No, right now there is no fresh proposal uh, that we have taken to board. Right now we are talking about uh, increasing the market cap of Hindustan Zinc first. Of course, with the LME being low, the first priority is to for Hindustan Zinc to produce as much of gas as possible by reducing cost and ensuring that the volumes we are able to sell in the market with a reasonable premium. Uh, otherwise, uh, yes, uh, currently we are looking at, as we have made the announcement of that we will commission a study to look at how to increase market cap, perhaps one of the idea is create three companies out of Hindustan Zing, one company. So those are the kind of discussions we are in now. Okay, by when can we see action on this segregation of entities? No, so we have just uh, commissioned the study by a reputed advisory firm and the time limit given is four to six weeks. So we expect that by second week of November, we should have the report in hand and then we'll take it to board. And then based on the discussions and dis decisions taken in the board, we will take necessary steps if, if, if uh, it is decided in the direction of forming three companies. Okay, we'll have to wait by then for uh, the second week of November to hear about that. But what about dividends? Now there's no big cash balance in Hindustan Sing. What's the outlook for the remainder of this year? No, no, for uh, ability for Hindustan Sing to generate cash remains strong. Even at $2,400 uh, of LME, uh, we are still have the ability to give a profitability of 46%. So that is not going anywhere. Now the question is how to use the cash between the growth and commissioning new projects or distributing as a dividend. It's for the shareholders to decide. I leave it to them between Government of India and the Vedanta, who are the primary shareholders of the company. Mm. Well, talking about the Government of India, what's the update on the OFS? You know, the last many quarters, uh, you have been expecting it, we have been expecting it. But no update. What's your take? Does it happen in this fiscal? The last news report I read was clearly stating that government is very keen on uh, getting the, uh, this disinvestment done. And looks like, as if I remember correctly in the news report, the timeline was mentioned that this current fiscal year only it will be done. So I hope so. It happens. Okay. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, it's a pleasure having you with us here. And uh, thank you for running us through all of those details.